So, you and I go way back, yeah? <laughs> yeah, way back. <laughs> um, you remember back in, I think it was seventh grade in so middle Ken- school. So, we would have been in Kennedy then. Yeah. Um, you'd gotten in trouble or you... What was it like? Yeah, <laughs> you got into some fight with some kid, right? Yeah, I got I got into a couple fights when I was in middle school. That's just the that's the the grades to fight. Yeah, middle yeah, yeah. Middle for, school for is for awful. If you get yeah, <laughs> if you get a fight, it's probably going to be in middle school. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, so what was it? Uh, this one I, I think distinctly I remember the the charge <laughs> was open combat in the commons area. No, so what happened was I got into a fight with some kid in the hallway after class because I don't know he came up calling me something stupid <laughs> you know it just <laughs> caught me at a bad moment now you, you know I mean, yeah. so I just like took my books and like threw them at him and I saw his face kind of like uh, <laughs> think I pissed him off then I just started wailing on him a bit and uh, it's just like for a few like maybe 10 seconds and then uh, he gathered himself I gathered myself I was picking myself up my picking myself up picking my, sh- my shit up yeah. And then all of a sudden, one of the teachers, I don't remember his name. He was a big old dude, though. He um, kind of, uh, I guess he kind of caught it. I didn't know that any teachers were around to see it. Of course, it's in the hallway in the school. How how would there not <laughs> right. be? But I didn't know anybody would around to see it. I thought I was just going to get my stuff and go on to my next class. And all of a sudden, he takes us to the dean and uh, yeah. sits us both down, <laughs> sits us down in the chairs and goes to the dean. These two were in open combat in the hallways. <laughs> and you and I would just joke about like us like pulling pins on grenades, <laughs> ducking behind doors with like machine gun. <laughs> it was just it was just hilarious to think about. The, just the way he said it, we're in open combat. Yeah. It's like he never actually said we were fighting. And then and then uh, she's like asking uh, him, uh are asking us, are you okay? And I'm just sitting there feeling like I'm fine, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I didn't say that obviously, but and he was right. over there, he was over there crying. And I was like, that he was me, crying. Yeah, it made me feel so good. He was such a little dick. We won't say his name on the podcast. No, no, no. I don't even know if he's on Facebook or anything. He's probably a cool guy. Know. And now, you know, yeah. this was middle school. But all yeah. I remember of him was in middle school. Then, then from that little skirmish went from I totally obliterated him, kicked his ass. That's the way, that's how the rumor <laughs> spread. It's probably really, probably really wasn't actually true, but maybe got the better of him a little anyway. It's funny because I didn't see the fight, but I just picture it like. Like the scene in the Christmas story <laughs> where he beats up Scott Farkas. <laughs> nice. Listening to your 40. Now what? Getting closer to early bird dinners, but still not quite ready to grow up. So hike up your pants, sip your latte, and get ready for the show. And now, the hosts of your 40. Now what? Tack and Ron. Well, welcome to your 40. Now what? I am one of the hosts. My name is Tack. I'm Ron. <laughs> And uh, sorry for the uh, delay we kind of missed last week. Uh, we I think had... we missed the week before, too. Dude. What? Really? Yeah, I think it's been a few weeks since we recorded. Damn. Well, we've had some personal things come, into, come across our desk, if, so to speak. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, We're back definitely. now. Better than ever. <laughs> and, no. <laughs> uh, well. Worse than ever. Just kidding. Like, you just know, like, kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So, anything going on, Ron? Like anything exciting? Anything? I don't know. Nothing exciting. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? No news. <laughs> no, 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 nothing really to write home to mom about or anything I can think of. Yeah. Well, this um, has been a good show. <laughs> that's good. All right, so that's been your forty. No, I feel like we've done that joke before too. <clears throat> we probably have. I think yeah. every we've only done like six episodes, that so joke. that's pretty sad. <laughs> the what? We've only done like six episodes, so that's <laughs> that's pretty bad. It'd be different if we had like hundred and fifty episodes in, and we had done that joke once before on like episode four. 
But I feel gotcha. like we did that joke in episode three. This is like a episode, what, seven, eight? I don't know. I don't keep up what with What are you, the, the joke police? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have it all lined out for you here. So if you if there's at least 70%, never mind. Okay. Um, so, oh, we do have the, uh, our part of the dichotomy media. Uh, we do have like their living vicariously uh, event coming up on 7-7. Seven, seven July 7th, seven, right? o'clock. 7-7-7. <clears throat> 777 live event. It's our listener event. It's going to be at the Village Idiot Pub on, I think it's a Friday, July 7th. Yeah, it is a Friday. We'll have the band Hot Pink playing. We're going to be us doing stuff on stage, all kinds of stuff. There's going to be beer, I think free beer too for certain listeners. Um, But yeah, so that'll be fun. That'll be exciting. Word. What do you got on the docket, docket for us today? So today I have our first topic. Let's see. I looked this up. I haven't heard anybody talk about this, but I just happened to look it up because I'm a nerd. Um, Is on May 25th of this year, Star Wars turns 40. Quite tight. So Star Wars was actually released in 77, huh? Shit, I was like a year and a half. I was a year and a half old. We were a year yeah. and a half old. Yeah. So that's that's exciting. So Star Wars is now officially available to listen and be on this podcast because, you know. Oh, because it's, <laughs> it's 40 years old. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's the correlation you were making there. I like yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Star Wars is 40. Now what? So <laughs> Now they keep making billions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And they're still going stronger than How ever. about that? They barely look a day over 20. So. Yes. <laughs> Still going very Except strong. for all the people in it who look 80. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and we've lost a few, so that yes. sucks. Who have we lost? Who um, have we lost? Baker, we lost. is that his name? The Kenny Baker? He, Kenny Baker. R2-D2. And yeah. the guy, Carrie Peter Fisher. Cushing. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie Fisher. Yes. Um, well, Peter Cushing, sort of. <laughs> we still get to see him. Except we still get to see him. <laughs> yeah. And we'll still get to see Carrie Fisher. And, uh, <clears throat> and I don't see um, Peter Mayhew Princess lasting, Fisher. lasting much longer. Not because I don't think he's going to die, but he's got, you know, it's hard for him to get around. I'm bad with this stuff. Who's Peter Mayhew? Oh, Chewbacca. Chewbacca? Okay. <clears throat> like during the filming of Force Awakens, they have a second Chewbacca that would do a lot of the stunts, so to speak, if there's any kind of running or the carrying The Schwartz people. Awakens? And so they had the second guy who's actually, I think he's Australian and just like a couple inches shorter than Peter Mayhew, but he's still a really tall dude, but he's young. He's like in his 20s. So, and he is actually going to be playing Chewbacca in um, part eight. So, Well, so he's already filmed it then. So well, the movie filmed. we're about to see will have a different Chewbacca. Um, I don't think it's, I think it's going to be a dual roles. I think just like it was for Force Awakens, um, but I think... Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Scratch that. The Han Solo movie. That's going to be the new Chewbacca guy. Who's playing Han Solo in the new Han Solo movie? Oh, shit. Who did I just learn this? Oh, it's some guy. I don't know who he is. Oh, I hate when they do that, man. No, but they do that on purpose, though. I don't like they, it. Give me some Bradley like... Cooper or something. <laughs> no, they need somebody younger. No, he needs to be the new Indiana Jones, Bradley Cooper. That's interesting. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, FBI director James Comey, he's like six foot eight, six foot nine. He's not doing anything. He could do Chewbacca now that he's fired. <laughs> oh, he's fired. Yeah, no, nothing. I don't know who that is. That's the FBI director that was just fired yesterday by Oh, the FBI director. I by, heard director. I thought okay. Like he's oh he thought he was like a director director. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just saying, he's really tall. He could play Chewbacca. He's got nothing going on now. But uh Donald Glover is going to be playing Lando Calrissian, which everybody saw that one coming. If you're familiar with him, yeah, I, I know who he is. Yeah. So he was actually supposed to be he was going to play Spider Man in the last reboot of Spider Man, but uh, is that the next? Is that direction. is Han Solo movie the next tweener movie? It's uh, I think so. Yeah. So it'll be December 2018. 2018. Yeah, I think so. Okay. <clears throat> and then Star Wars 9, whatever that's going to be called. That'll be 2020. <coughs> it's 
a great time to be a Star Wars fan. Great time to be alive. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, good times. <laughs> and happy birthday, 40th birthday over the hill. Star nice. Wars. Good Very time. exciting. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is going to be a little movie quiz. Now, I just brought this up, so I don't even know the answer to this first one. Okay. What Kit, kind of, what's the name of this quiz? It's, it's it? just, it's movie quotes, and you oh, have to guess okay. the movie. Gotcha. All right. At first, it gives me four choices. I'll let you just try and pull them off before I even give you the choices, but I gotcha. like this first Sounds one I don't good. recognize. Even looking at the choices, I don't know. Okay. So here we go. You ready? Yeah. Kid, the next time I say, let's go someplace like Bolivia, let's go someplace like Bolivia. Yeah, no me idea. neither. Okay. So the, the the choices were Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm not feeling like it's that one. No. The Mummy. Maybe. Maybe. Romancing the Stone. I've seen that like once a long time that. ago. And Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Um, I would say Butch Cassidy. See, I was thinking uh, The Mummy. <clears throat> that's my other that's all right so i have to pick choice. one are we gonna pick butch cassidy so you want butch pick cassidy because okay. he said kid and there's correct the all right all right after all tomorrow is another day wow these are old movies too this is like not new shit <laughs> are you ready yeah. breakfast at tiffany's gone with the wind i'm <laughs> oh, sorry i'm gonna do the music to all the movies as i say oh, okay them. all right the african queen <laughs> wow i'm showing how dork i am that i know a movie like that and i know the music and or annie and i'm not doing the music to annie because everybody knows that so after all tomorrow maybe is another day far away <laughs> or maybe sorry after all tomorrow is another day breakfast at tiffany's gone with the wind african queen annie i'm gonna go african queen okay i'll trust you i know it's not I, annie dude so. i don't know if it's right or not Gone with the wind. Ah. All right. There's, oh, well, this is ridiculous. There's no place like home. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> well, I got to pick the answer. All right. Wizard oh. of Oz, correct? All right. All right. That was ridiculous. Listen to them, children of the night, what music they make. I have no Frankenstein, idea. Frankenstein, Interview with a Vampire, Nosferatu. Didn't... Weren't we talk, doing a list of shows an episode or two ago where we were doing like the, was, was that, were we just doing that on our own or were we doing that on the show? Well, we were going through movies like Top 100 This, Top 100 That. Was that not even with you? <laughs> I don't think so. I was doing like Top 100 Sci-Fi movies, Top 100 This movies, Top 100 That movies. And Nosferatu, which is like a movie from like the 20s, yeah, showed up like film. on every list there was of greatest movies. Here it is again. I've never seen this movie at all. It's it's the creepiest. Uh, Have vampire. you seen it? I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's oh. it's creepy because a it's a silent movie and two like the actual face of Nosferatu is pretty creepy. Yeah, yeah. Listen to them, Children of the Night. What music they make? Frankenstein, Interview with a Vampire, Nosferatu, Dracula. No idea. I'm going. Um, it's got to be one of the vampire ones. Yeah, well, it's not Nosferatu because it's a silent film. Well, it could be. Oh, well, it could captioned. be written up on yeah. the screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go Dracula. What do you okay. think? Correct. Yes. yes. Score. Um, love means never having to say you're sorry. Okay, I've <laughs> I've heard that quote before. Yeah. Love story, an affair to remember, a walk to remember, the Notebook. It's not the Notebook. No, not the notebook. I think it's an affair to remember. All right. I have no idea, but okay. Wrong. It was love story. Damn. Ah. Surely you can't it. be serious. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, am serious. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Yeah, yeah. damn. Okay, we Is know that. Is that the one. actual quote? Yeah. Surely oh, okay. you can't be serious. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. That's a Airplane 2. Yeah, it just has Airplane on here. Actually, it's not. It's the first Airplane. Because it, it was Leslie Nielsen and he was in the first one. He was in the second one, too, wasn't he? <coughs> he was not. Oh, wait. I have an sure? advertisement now. I have to skip. Okay, there we go. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I am all out of bubble gum. I just heard this quote, like the audio clip of this just the other day on a podcast. So the, <clears throat> the options are Rush Hour, Big Trouble in Little China, which I'm kind of leaning towards that, Beverly Hills Cop. I know that movie pretty well. I don't think that quotes in that movie. Beverly Hills Cop. They live. I'm not familiar with They Live. I think it's the second one. Big Trouble, Little China? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wrong. It was They Live. Damn it. 
Oh, I don't know. That. <clears throat> a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Magnolia, East of Eden, the Royal, the Royal Tenenbaums, the Godfather. I have no clue. No idea. <laughs> I'm just going to close my eyes and push it. <laughs> Got it. What was it? I don't even know what I pushed, but it was correct. Because oh, <laughs> it disappears after you push it. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Oh, I know this one. Do you know that quote? I've heard it before, but... Okay. I'll give you some hints. It um, sounds like some sort of a it was, fucking... Hugh Grant said it to uh, somebody. No, he didn't okay. say it. it Hugh, he was being said to Hugh, to Hugh Grant. That's the English guy, right? That slept with the yeah, prostitute? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was being said to Hugh Grant by a woman, a very famous actress. I don't know. Okay. So your choices are Notting Hill, Pretty Woman, Love Actually, You've Got Mail. Okay, I know it's not Pretty Woman. It's not the last one. <clears throat> okay. Um, I've never really see, seen the other ones. So uh, Notting Hill. Wait, 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 wait. You said Valentine's Day? Nope. That wasn't one. Of, Love that was, Actually, Notting oh, Hill. Oh, Love Actually. Same yeah, thing. you got one of those movies confused where they piece a bunch of people's lives together and put them in a movie. I hate those kind of movies usually. That's what Love Actually is and Valentine's Day, and they're yeah. all the same. I don't like those movies. <laughs> I think that's stupid. Um, <clears throat> that whole concept of doing that just, I don't, it doesn't get it for me. I'm not sure. I don't know. Notting Hill. Never saw it. No, great movie. Who who was Shh. the actress? Oh, Julia Roberts. Oh. Okay. Um, show me the money. <laughs> that one's too easy. That's uh, um, Jerry <laughs> my fucking Guire. Well, that's not a choice here, but I do have Jerry Maguire. You want to go with that? Oh, Jer- yeah, let's do that yeah. one instead, Jerry Maguire. So we've got a 70 on this so far. <laughs> not, tr- no, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> <laughs> Swear not making this shit up. That's what's on That's here. That's awesome. Fucking Yoda. All right, what's your, and guess what? It doesn't like savvy. It doesn't give you like Star Wars, Star Trek, Forbidden Planet. It gives you all the Star Wars movies pretty much. Oh, good. Episode yeah, good. So one, good. four, five, six are your options. It's uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yes. Very good. All right. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs> I know That's this from, one. from, uh, what you call it? Uh, yeah. No, not what you <laughs> yeah. call it, Movo. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of the movie. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. Why well, can't I think of the name of the movie? Um, you want me to give you options? <laughs> Eyes Wide Shut, A Clockwork uh-huh. Orange, Full Metal Jacket. The last one. The shine. The shining. <laughs> shining. Yes. Okay. Thank you, God. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, gotta skip another commercial. Okay. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> yeah, that's six cents. Okay. Mm. We always have Paris. Hmm. I, I think know. I know which one that is. I think it's Casablanca, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's. A, I don't know now. Dang it! I don't know. We always have Paris. I don't know either. What are the choices? My Fair Lady, It Happened One Night, The Maltese Falcon, Casablanca. I'm feeling Casablanca on that. It's not My Fair Lady. That's all I know. Casablanca was right. Yes. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. (laughs) Yeah, that's Anchorman. (laughs) I'm glad you knew that one because I didn't actually. Some of the choices, though, I knew. Like, I knew it was an Ace Ventura and I knew it wasn't Liar Liar. So the other choices were Step Brothers or Anchorman, so I would have guessed between those two. Yeah, it's definitely Anchorman. This isn't flying. It's falling with style. That's Toy Story. Oh, very good. See, I wouldn't have known that one either. <coughs> oh, very good. Are you not entertained? <clears throat> Are you not Are you entertained? Not entertained? It's a gladiator? Yep. Very good. Um, that movie's so boring. <laughs> what? That's a great movie. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I haven't given up on oh, it. Oh, I love so that movie. That's so phenomenal. Um, you don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. I think it's Raging Bull. I don't know. So Rocky is not Rocky. Raging Bull on the waterfront, Last Tango in Paris. I think it's Raging Bull. Okay. 
Oh, damn. It was on the waterfront. I've never seen that one. I haven't seen it. Okay. I think we've got two left here. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Nice. (laughs) Roger Rabbit. Very good. (laughs) Jessica Rabbit's line. Stand up. Your father's passing. Damn, they're going to make this one hard. The Age of Innocence, 12 Angry Men. It's not 12 Angry Men. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I don't feel like it's that one. To Kill a Mockingbird. I think it's Age of Innocence. It must be. I've never seen it. So Damn it. It was To Kill a Mockingbird. I've never seen either of those two. We got a 75 bra. Damn. Um, it says play again. Can we... Is it the same quiz? Oh, no. You want to go in one more? One yeah, more round? let's go. I keep okay. it going. <laughs> Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. I don't know. The Chronicles of Narnia, Ender's Game, The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. It's not Harry Potter. I don't know. I don't know. Want to go Lord of the Rings? Um, Ender's Game? Know. You want to go Lord of the Rings or Ender's Game? Or what do you want to go? Lord of the Rings, let's say. How about Ender's Game? Okay. Nope. Lord of the Rings. Damn it, I should have listened to you. <laughs> <laughs> they, may, they may take our lies, but they'll never take our freedom. That one I know. They may uh, take our lives, but they'll never oh, take our freedom. <laughs> Independence Day, yeah. No. Independence Day isn't even a choice, bro. Oh. I don't Choices are like... the Patriot, Spartacus, 300, Braveheart. Braveheart? Yes, it's Braveheart. Uh-huh. And we were correct. Kid, the next time I say, ah, I put that one in there. Let's go to Bolivia. Let's go someplace <laughs> like Bolivia. What, what was the answer? It was Butch Cassidy, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hey, we got it right. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> <clears throat> I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It's apocalypse now. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you? <laughs> Punk. Dirty Harry? Is that the name yes. of the movie? Dirty, Dirty Harry? Harry, yeah. Hey, they put Gran Torino in there. That's a great movie. You seen that movie before? With the Gran Torino it's, with with Clint Eastwood? It's, it's, it's a more Clint recent Eastwood. film. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's so good, dude. Definitely want to mm. check that one out. Um, Love means never having to say you're sorry. They already gave us this one. I wish they would give us a completely different list. Um, what Didn't that end up being um, Love Story? I don't yeah, remember. It was. was that the one you picked blindly? He, no, no. It was no. something else, but it was Love Story. It's okay. not the years, honey. It's the mileage. Our choices are Man with the Golden Gun, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Mission Impossible, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. <laughs> it's not Star Wars. No, it's not Star Wars. And I, I have pretty much every line Jones. of that memorized. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's Raiders of the Lost Ark either. Oh. It's probably Mission Impossible or Man with the Golden Gun. I'm going to go Man with the Golden Gun. What do you think? Sure. Wrong. Raiders of the Lost Ark. What? Yeah. I miss. I don't remember. I get, we need to go back and watch that movie, dude. It's been a while. Uh, you know, uh, here it is our, again. I'm our, also just a girl standing in front of blah, 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 Notting Hill. Okay. You know, our, our friend Jimmy, he's never seen any of the Indiana Jones movies, like, ever. Oh, man. I'd love to go back and watch them for the first time. <laughs> Excuse I me. Um, I see dead people, Six Sense. Um... Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. No idea. Trading places, Wall Street, American Hustle, the Wolf of Wall Street. Damn. Is it Wall Street, maybe? <laughs> Probably, possibly. I yes, do like that movie, it was. But it, it was Wall Street. I haven't seen it in a long time, but yeah. A man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. We already went through this. What was... I don't well, remember. We that oh, that was, I think it was the Royal Tenenbaums. I think... Oh no! It was the Godfather. <laughs> and I was that, say, that was God, the one I picked, the one blindly. picked blindly. Yeah. Oh man, there's another repeat. All right, uh, gonna. I don't remember what the answer was. Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make? What was the answer? What are the choices? Frankenstein, Interview with a Vampire, Nosferatu, Dracula. We have bad memories. You dude. picked Dracula last time, so and I was I wrong, wasn't I? I don't remember. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Damn it! It was Dracula. And it was wrong. I did it wrong again. God. <laughs> <laughs> I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Gone with the Wind, West Side Story, <laughs> Wet Side Story, <laughs> Casablanca, A Streetcar Named Desire. <laughs> Was that a Night Court reference? I have always depended on the no, kindness. No, 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 Wet Side Story. Yes, it is. Very good. 
<laughs> Psy anxiety. The empire gets lucky. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, uh, night court. Um, I don't know. I kind of got distracted in my head, so I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go with one because I don't know. I'm going to go with... Oh, it was a streetcar named Desire. Okay. Show me the money. Yeah, we got Jerry McGuire. Show me. You can't handle the truth. Oh, such a good movie. <laughs> that is a great movie. What movie is it? Oh, oh <laughs> it's uh, oh, I can't think of the name of this one again. Oh, A Few Good Men. Very right? good. Yeah. All right. That's a great movie. We're doing worse on this one, and we've had repeats. That's sad. After all, tomorrow is another day. We got this one before, too. I, I don't choice. remember the answer again. Gone with the Wind. That's right. Okay. Um, go ahead and make my day. That's Dirty Harry. Oh, but that was a different quote from the same movie. Go ahead and make my day. True. Maybe that wasn't Dirty Harry. It's Dirty Harry, Sudden Impact, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and Magnum Force. I think those no, are all Clint Eastwood. Definitely Dirty Harry. But is it Mag isn't Magnum Force also a Dirty Harry movie? I have no idea. So am I picking Dirty Harry or Magnum Force? You're you're choosing. Dirty Harry. Wrong. Sudden Impact. I think they're all <laughs> Dirty Harry movies. Here's yeah, John. I don't know. That, that was the shot. I've never seen any of them. A um, couple more. I didn't yeah, we're know doing that was a franchise. Okay, this one we already know. It's Empire Strikes Back. And, okay, we already knew that one. All right. Man, we did worse on that, and we had repeats. Okay, let's go to <laughs> next challenge. The Wizard of Oz 75th Anniversary Trivia Game. Want to play? <laughs> All right. All right. And this will be the last one. Yeah, yeah. Who wrote the novel The Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz is based on? C.S. No Lewis, idea. Noel Langley, J.R. Tolkien, Frank Baum. It's kind of cheating. I already know the answer to this. You do know the answer? Yeah. I don't know. It's Baum. Ah. Shit's the bomb, yo. <laughs> Who says the line, pay, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain? That would be the wizard? Yep. Very good. We should get 100 on this shit. When did The Wizard of Oz first debut in theaters? 32? It's The choices are 38, 39, 40, 41. I know the answer. Oh. It's definitely 30 something. So 30. It was also the same year Gone with the Wind came out. They came out the same year. What oh, a year yeah. for the movies, wasn't it? <laughs> Which one took home the Best Picture Award? Uh, I, I think Nosferatu. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Um, by the way, the answer should be 39. 39. Yes, I was correct. Whew. Who was killed when Dorothy ha when Dorothy's house landed on her? Well, oh, who was killed? Yes. Wicked Witch of the East? Correct. Glinda the Good Witch of the... North. Correct. Who says the line, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Glinda? Correct. Which actor only played one role in The Wizard of Oz? Oh my God, I don't know. Um, Burt Lair, Billy actors. Burke, Ray Bolger, Frank Morgan. So one of these people only played, but I don't know. I don't know the actors' names. I'm not sure. I don't know. I guess I'll go Ray Bolger. I was wrong. It was Billy Burke. I, who knew? Which actor <laughs> proved he could do a split in The Wizard of Oz? Oh, they're giving us the actors' names again. Oh, shit. Burt Lair, Frank Morgan, Ray Bolger, Judy Garland. Do we know who played the... Scarecrow? Scarecrow? Um, I used to know. I used to know their names. What were the names again? Burt Lair, or Lar, L-A-H-R. Frank Morgan, Ray Bolger, Judy Garland. It's not Judy Garland, so... <laughs> it's Ray Bolger, Frank Morgan, Burt Lair, Lar. Let's go with Burt. Wrong. Ray Bolger. There's another road that spirals together with the yellow brick road. What color is it? Red. Correct. Choose a lyric that doesn't fit. If only, if I only had, oh my God, a heart, <laughs> the nerve, a brain, the strength. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to guess that? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not brain, heart, or... The noive. The noive. <laughs> yeah. Strength? 
Yes. Wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whatever. What is Dorothy's last name? Oh, good question. Gail. Damn, you knew it, huh? Yeah, it's on there. Yes, it's Gail. <laughs> the cowardly lion is afraid of what kind of farm animal? Afraid of what? What kind of farm, oh, farm animal? animal? Yeah. Um, that doesn't help. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> oh, sheep. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Did that me saying that help you a little? Huh? Which color horse is never seen in the Wizard of Oz? That's, a, that's a tough one. Which color horse is never seen? Oh, I don't know. It's you got purple, yellow, black, or color. red. Want to go black? Sure. Correct. Nice. What puts the ape in apricot? What's the what? What puts the ape in apricot? Cot. Ape in apricot. Home, courage, heart, brains. I don't remember that line. I don't either. Uh, let's go with... Courage. You feel like he, a cowardly lion said something that smart? I'm just kidding. No, no, the wizard definitely said it. The wizard? Oh. Okay, so we're going to go with courage? C- courage. Yeah. Correct. Very good. Yay. How old is Dorothy supposed to be? 10, 11, 12, 13. What? Yeah. Those are her choices? I was going to say like 16, 17. But. No, that's because that's, she was older. In fact, they had they wrapped up filming for a while, then they went back to it, and she had grown like boobs, and they had to like tape them down. Poor girl. I would guess... Uh, 12? 13? 13? Wrong. 12. Damn it. Jesus. Dorothy clicks her heels together three times and thinks to herself, there's no place like home, but what else does she do? Oh, that's easy. Closes her eyes, I'm sure. Nods her head, closes her eyes, looks to the sky, snaps her fingers. Closes her eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're almost there, bud. What's Dorothy's uncle's name? What's what? Dorothy's uncle's name. Oh, uh... Charlie Henry Frank or Chester. (laughs) What? Uncle Owen? (laughs) No, um... Why does that sound familiar? (coughs) Star Wars. Oh. Um... (laughs) Nice. So, oh, it's a... Henry, right? Who is it? Isn't it Henry? Yes, yes, yeah, that's it. Okay. Who says the line, the sum of the square roots of any two slides in an isosceles triangle? Okay, Uh, we know it. It's Scarecrow. It's Tin Man, right? It's Scarecrow. He was showing he had brains. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, you're right. Complete the lyric. We thank you very... Uh, Sweetly? Very good. We're doing it so neatly. You killed her so completely. <laughs> no, we thank you very... Oh, sorry. When Dorothy gets frightened by the wizard's fake floating green head, what does she say when she runs to the Tin Man? It's hard to hear you say it again. I got, like, they're doing mowers <coughs> and stuff outside. What are you doing right now on your phone? I'm Ask still looking lunch. up to see for the Oscars of that year. Oh, my God. Well, here it is. It's 1940s Oscars. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Um... When Dorothy gets frightened by the wizard's fake floating green head, what does she say when she re- when she runs to the Tin Man? Golly, holy moly, gee whiz, Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> Golly? No, she says Jiminy Crickets, and the answer is Jiminy Crickets. She goes, oh, oh. Jiminy Crickets. Okay, we got an 85 on the Wizard of Oz. We're complete dorks. All right, let's take a break. Okay, just so you know, here. Okay. The 1940s Oscar uh, nominations for Best Picture. Actually, back then it wasn't called Best Picture. It was called Outstanding Production. Both were nominated, Gone with the Wind and The Wizard of Oz. What else was nominated, just out of curiosity? Along with that was a movie called Dark Victory. Never heard of it. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Never heard of it. Love Affair. Oh, that's the movie that we we had in one of the other quizzes. Actually, this says it's radio, RKO Radio. No. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Yeah, we definitely heard of that movie. Wow. What, um, what a year for the movies. <laughs> ne- was that Nino Chaka? N- Ninochka? Nosferatu? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> of, of Mice and Men? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Stagecoach? Never heard of it. And Wuthering Heights? Oh, wow. Okay. And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Moonlight? Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Moonlight? <laughs> <laughs> Gone with the Wind won that year. 
La- are, is it just me or are you like so glad that La La Land didn't win Oscar to Oscar? I don't know. I haven't seen any exactly. Of those that's why I refuse to ever watch that movie, La La Land. That that is going up there with that with Titanic of movies I will never watch for as long as I why. Live. No, no, just not. Watching. I don't even know what it's about. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I know. I've seen the previews Casey enough Affleck to know. I never it? want to watch it. Is that Casey Affleck? No, that's the. No, that that you're thinking Manchester by the Sea. That, oh, yeah, that yeah. one I want to see. I haven't seen it yet. I want to see Hacksaw Ridge too. Which oh, that's is so good. HBO. Oh man, Hacksaw Ridge is so good. Yeah, yeah, that was a good flig. So, La La Land. That's oh, that's the Ryan Gosling vehicle, <laughs> so to speak. Gotcha. Do you, do you have it. sirens going on behind you? They're they're doing like a blower or something. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We're gonna take a break, and as soon as we come back, Tack's gonna talk about. Oh, uh, let's. Sorry, I just closed my phone. Um, so we are going to. I got a couple of uh, topics, a couple of uh, articles to bring up. Okay. And uh, they're all about being forty-ish. So word. All right, we'll be back. Infinite Points, blending the exotic and traditional art of fire performing with a modern and technical flair. If you're planning an event and want your guests to have a visually stunning and memorable experience, bring the performance from Infinite Points to your venue. It's scary, it's exciting, and it's certain to put you on the edge of your seat. This is truly fire performing at its finest. If fire spinning is too hot for your venue, they also perform with full LED props still bright enough to shine at your event. If you want to get a hold of them, email them at booking at infinitepointsperforming.com or visit them online at www.infinitepointsperforming.com. The performers at Infinite Points are professional and always encourage and adhere to safety. While what they do is amazing, they always remind you, don't try this at home. And welcome back to your 40 Now What. Um, those were uh, those are fun little quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, I, I didn't go through them ahead of time, obviously, because uh, I would have liked to find some stuff that was a little f- fresher, Relevant. a little newer. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we didn't do bad, considering some of those movies were freaking old. Yeah. I mean, that, that, we, I should I'll save those quizzes for your 70 Now What. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so... <laughs> I had happened upon, I'm going to rephrase it properly. You came across? (laughs) Damn, I was trying to avoid that, saying that. (laughs) Um, Okay, so this list, I was actually looking for like articles. What? (laughs) Nothing, go ahead. Okay. I was looking for articles to bring up. What do you say? Oh, skeet, skeet. <laughs> I was going to keep doing it to you, too, I was saying. <laughs> that was awesome. I was looking for articles to, to bring to the show, and everything I found, like most of them, <laughs> had to do with women, and uh, which is fine. Well, but I don't know anything like, about women, so maybe you Right, can, you know. which is totally fine. I don't have a problem with that, but it's just that the articles were for women only, so there was a lot of things that you and I could not really relate to. So I finally found some that's kind of un, unisex or you and I sex. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> so this article is from uh, HuffPost.com. Oh, and it's yeah, the, the Huffington Post. Yeah, and it's uh, 40 effed up things about being 40. Um, are you reading are, all 40? Yeah, but they're short. Like, okay. It's, it's, it's more like a... David Letterman kind of list. Okay, so go for it. We can discuss as we go. So not a twisted ten situation. <laughs> no, a twisted forty. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm assuming no particular order, but number one says, other than Teen Mom, I have no clue what's on MTV. <laughs> that sounds right for my wife. Yeah, sounds right for yeah, me. Yeah, that's all my wife watches from MTV is Teen Mom. I know she uh-huh. might watch that. 
some kind of challenge battle. It used to be re- real world versus road rules, and I don't know that either one of those <laughs> shows exists. And now they just it's just random people yeah. doing challenges. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's called the challenge or something. Huh. Uh, number two, when people say middle aged, they might mean me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, this one I know you can probably relate to. I can't wear sequins or I'll look like a cougar. <laughs> Why do I relate to that? I don't know. It's just a joke. Oh, okay. I thought that was funny. I, I wish I'd known it was a joke because I was just confused. I was like, I was really trying to like pull out what you were trying to tell me here. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number four, I'm more likely to forget to have sex than to forget to floss. <laughs> Uh, no. I'm more than likely to throw my back out having sex than flossing. I mean, that's <laughs> that's about all I can give you on that one. Number five, if I eat chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast, I've gained a size by dinner time. What about peanut butter and butter on pancakes? <laughs> that's my jam. <laughs> I thought you didn't use jam, just peanut butter. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, uh, okay. yeah, just peanut butter and butter. Butter first, so it kind of melts, and then you add the peanut butter on top. It's really good. Buddy did it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, no, buddy cracked up <laughs> over Macho Grande. <laughs> oh no, I don't think I'll ever get over Macho Grande. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is a great movie. Um, number six. Even if I finally get a full night's sleep, yeah, right, right. I still look like I was up all night. <laughs> yes, definitely. But not up all night doing something cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number seven. At the doctor's office, I bypass Cosmopolitan and I reach for Red Book. I'll even read Family Circle. There are some great recipes in there. Okay. No? No, okay. nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Number seven was a fucking waste. Why yes, you even it read was. That? Why'd you even read it? <laughs> Number eight. This is something that I'll relate to. I'm probably never going to be a solid gold dancer. Yeah, I can, I can relate to that one too. <laughs> it's not anything I ever wanted to be, though. So no, never. I'll also probably never be an elephant either. But I don't give a shit about that. Whoa, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. A lot of this is women stuff. So <laughs> going out without makeup is seeming more and more like an aggressive act. So women out there can get a little giggle. I don't know. I go out. I go out without makeup. Is all it aggressive the time. because they look so ugly? It's mean. I guess to the people yeah. around them. I mean, so, well, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. So, <laughs> number ten, the me in my head is like the foxy little sister of the me in the mirror. Mm. Okay. This list is about as good as my quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> any girl, any girl can look. Cute, like Rachel on Friends in her 20s, only Jen, An- Jen Aniston-, Aniston looks cute like Rachel on Friends in her 40s. We've discussed that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although she's starting to, it's starting she's to happen. She's starting to show a little bit. Yep, yeah, it's starting to happen. In the face number, there. And I think she had 12. some work done, and I think that's why. But that's my opinion. Number 12, if I strolled across a college campus, people would assume teacher, not student. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I kind of feel like that it wouldn't be that way for me, but it probably would. <laughs> oh, I know it would be that way for me. I'm not going to deny it. That people would come up to me, uh, Professor, where is the <laughs> DK building? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a building. Where's the Hoffman building? Yeah, the Hoff- where's Hoffman? Hoffman Strategies class? Hoffman Hall. <laughs> Hoffman Hall. Where's the Studerbaker area? <laughs> We're making shit up now. Number 13. I'm old enough to drink, vote, rent a car, and be elected to the highest office in the land. All that's left on my age bucket list is admission to AARP. Huh. Thanks, I'll wait. <laughs> Number 14. Most days, I choose comfort over style. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. For instance, I'm wearing this nice baggy t-shirt and basketball shorts around the house. I, I couldn't see what you wanted me to talk because all I see is the back of your phone. Oh, sorry. That's, <laughs> That's all I see. Sorry. Right. Okay. I was in there like looking at you too. I'm like, <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> sorry. Okay, here we go. Um, 
All the tanning I did in college is showing up now as brown blotches. Get a Sharpie and you could draw a cow on my chest. What are you doing? <laughs> Being stupid. Um, say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, all the tanning I did in college is showing up now as brown blotches. Get a Sharpie and you can draw a cow on my chest. Hmm. Yeah. Number 16, the psychedelic furs, Duran Duran, and The Cure are now considered oldies. Yes, yes. A lot of my music is considered oldies now. I've heard Guns N' Roses on oldie stations and shit. Ah, oh, jeez. I know. That's just wrong. It's crazy. <laughs> Number 17, everything I wore in high school has been appropriated, ironically, by hipsters. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. We've had a conversation about hipsters before, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Number 18, only a 40-something is old enough to remember the TV show 30-something. <laughs> More irony. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Number 19, I can't relate to, but you might. Ooh, my back. Oh, God, I relate to it all the time. I know. Uh, number 20, other than the Kardashians, I don't recognize anyone in the tabloids. <laughs> Who are these people and why are they famous? Yeah, I, I agree there. Eh, some. I still kind of keep up. I don't keep up with, like, those kind of celebrities, but more of like that. There'll be people on Twitter with, like, 5 million followers. Never heard of them in my life. No, yeah, no yeah. idea why they're famous. Yeah. I just have to assume it's some kind of social media shit. Hmm. <laughs> Number 21, ages 31 to 39 are a total blur. I'm scared I'll blink and be 200. Huh, yeah. 22, all of a sudden, here you go. All of a sudden, my tight mini skirts make me look like I'm trying too hard. Hey, slut. In, hey, sluts incoming at Goodwill. I don't know. I don't get that one. Yeah. Number 23, ugh, my back. <laughs> that's again nice yeah 24 the real housewives and I are like the same age where's my butler no oh, real housewives I never I think these it, are so. almost all for women no not necessarily except for the back stuff uh, 25 it's occurring to me that I might not ever visit every single beach on the planet and I'm actually okay with that which feels weird okay just insert beach with something else that you always wanted to do. Uh, 26, when I, yeah, this is, when I flirt with a cable guy, <laughs> I, don't get a, <laughs> I don't get extra channels for free anymore. Yeah, I know, right? It sucks. <laughs> I, I actually got less channels last time I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, <laughs> I'm taken away. Yeah. 27, I think. Uh, I still think 21-year-old guys are hot, and they're like, Mom? Me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, dude, I can't get enough of 21-year-old guys. I, I'm actually on Twitter right now looking at, at this a Twitter handle called at 21-year-old guys. <laughs> Just nothing but pictures of 21-year-old guys. Let's, let's switch that for us. I still think 21-year-old girls are hot, and they're like, Dad? Yeah, but we so. can't say that because then we're creepers. It sounds creepier. Yeah, right? girls can like twenty-one-year-old guys, but guys who like our age who like twenty-one-year-old girls. This is, this is an interesting take no, we're here. Creepers. Okay. Let's pause for a second here. Okay, so things have gotten reversed now because back when we were in our twenties, mm -hmm. if we did a bunch of chicks, we were a stud. If a girl did a bunch of chicks, she's a slut. Or not chicks, but dudes. <laughs> so I think she'd be a lesbian. Type, now in mm -hmm. our time, if we bang a bunch of chicks. We're sad and pathetic and dirty old men, and the women are thought of as hot cougars. Is that not interesting? I know. We, <laughs> were, know, we were born you have in no the, idea what I'm saying. We were born in the wrong time. <laughs> no, it's not born in the wrong time. Yeah, because we're Did 40 and we're not allowed to like young chicks because we're creepers. No, it's because we get older. Like times have changed. We're in our 20s, we have a lot of sex, we're studs. And chicks are sluts. Now that we're in our forties, we have a lot of sex. We're dirty old men, and the women are the hot cougars that are like the studs. I guess. If if I walk up somebody and go, hey, I banged a twenty year old. People are like you're fucking dirty old man. If a woman says, hey, I banged a twenty year old dude, they'd be like, go for you, high five, high chick. five, yeah, yeah. So it's funny how tables have turned. 28, why didn't I take naked pictures of myself when I was 30? <laughs> right? <laughs> I 
I didn't have a, a cell phone then. <laughs> <laughs> um, 29. I fantasize about taping up the sides of my face. Try it with your fingers. It takes 10 years off instantly. I don't really have that kind of an issue. I try it with my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Number 30, cripes, my back. All right. uh, 31, touching my toes is not a guarantee. I can still do it. I have no problem. It is if you're with me, damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just making this list as perverse as I can. 32, forget 50 shades of gray. My nightstand is full of wrinkle cream and Ben Gay. The apothecary is open. That's gross. <laughs> 33. I even have one of those. Well, hold on. Oh, I even have one of the one of those days of the week vitamin boxes. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no. right, what, what are you distracted by over there? What are you looking at? Oh, uh, uh, no, nothing. I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> <laughs> Continue on. Okay. Um, I actually do have one of those, by the way. Sorry. I have a lot oh, of medicine yeah. I have to take, man. That's because you're sick every other week. I'm I know, I'm a sickly bastard. Which is another reason why we missed a week, because you were sick. <laughs> yes. 34. This one's kind of funny. If I buy a turtle, it might outlive me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good call. Uh, 35. The bad habits I still have are probably here to stay. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> I, I've given up trying to change them. Here's one for, not necessarily for us, but I know people like this. 36, I say things like, what's the name of that actor? You know, he was in that thing. Yeah, I do say stuff like that. <laughs> well, earlier I was like, ah, what's that movie again? And I couldn't think of it. Like The Shining. Who forgets about The Shining? Nobody. Tack. That's who. Tack, <laughs> tack is the answer. 37, I get a hangover from looking at liquor. Yeah, that's me. I can't even drink anymore. I'm like, get like get all red faced and shit. Sucks. Ah, uh, yeah, we've talked about this. You have the the Asian, what, the Asian flesh. Asian <laughs> <laughs> flesh. <laughs> Only a few more left. Okay, thirty eight. The next milestone birthday is fifty. Okay. Hey, where are they? Thirty nine. Uh, did I mention my reading glasses? No, I don't. I, That's one thing I I've got is. It. So far, so knock on wood, I've got still got good, really good eyes. I think I need uh, I think I need to go to the eye doctor, but I'm okay. Are your bad. eyes sick? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, number forty um, is one word. I'll switch it. It says for women, but I'll switch it to men. One word, sir. Well, it says ma'am. So. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's it? Okay. That's the Not another 40, back reference for 41? Just kidding. Not 40 effed up things about being 40. Yeah. And most of most the, of the ones I went for through. Women. But most of the ones I went through were more for women. You know, talk about more specifics about uh, women and stuff. And I was like. Like hey, how man. specific? Are we talking sexual stuff here? <laughs> no. Well, no. Oh. I mean, may, maybe a couple things, but things I couldn't really relate to and. It would just be a lot of like, oh, okay. I've got this on. list here. 40 positions you can no longer do in your 40s. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't actually have that list. Uh, I'll make it up. <laughs> the Santa Ana slapper? <laughs> uh, <laughs> start naming off all that bullshit. <laughs> the uh, fucked up titles. The, what is it? The, the Dirty Dolphin or something? The, <laughs> the Pirate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that. Fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so disgusting, right. Tack. So I have um, another. Um, well, we're already an article. hour into this or so. So. Yeah, yeah. Probably if you have another list, we should take a break. Let's take a break. All right. All right. When we come back, this one's a little more fun. It's not going to be so much gender specific. So. Yeah, yo. All right. All right. We'll be back. All right.
Village Idiot Pub. You locals know about it. You guys from out of town have to check them out. Village Idiot Pub is proud to sponsor Your 40 Now What podcast. Tack and Ron from Your 40 Now What seem to have found a perfect sponsor. A pub with over 30 beers on tap, including ciders, as well as hundreds of bottle choices. You forgot my favorite, all the delicious wine. (laughs) So get your friends together and enjoy the board games, puzzles, and the giant Jenga. Let the owner Jason, as well as the rest of the staff there, take excellent care of your beer drinking needs. Tuesday is open mic, Wednesday is trivia, Thursday is karaoke, Friday and Saturday night are live music. Visit them at 4 Harrison Street, Suite 103, Cocoa, Florida, or Village Idiot Pub on Facebook. And don't forget, they are a dog-friendly location, so bring your friends, family, and fur babies. All right, we are back for our final segment of this episode, anyway. And I have a little list here, dude. You do? Yeah. Hottest okay, 80 year olds. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> I'm just kidding. I wonder if it exists. Let me Google it and see. Um, <laughs> I was going to say Betty White. Oh, she's not even 80. She's 90 or something. Yeah, she doesn't count. No. <laughs> um, Hold on one second. Let's see if we can find it. This is, this you, you know you're going to find yourself like on Pornhub, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, hottest women over sixty. You want to okay. do it? <laughs> let's let's just, let's go. We're for going it. quickly. Morgan Fairchild, Jane mm. Seymour. Mm. Oh, it was a commercial. I was like, Gwen Stefani is not over, <laughs> not over 60. What the hell? I was like super impressed. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Christy Brinkley. She actually does look amazing yeah, she for does. her age. Olivia Newton-John. Nice. Hey, what's uh, what's sitting in Olivia Newton's John? <laughs> I don't know. What. Goomer's pile. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Um, that was so bad. Linda Carter. You know, she was the... Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, yeah. Susan Sarandon. No. Cheryl Ladd. Hey, good laddie. Um, please close this commercial. Raquel Welch. Hmm. She was hot back in the day. Bernadette Peters. She's I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slit of sheet I sit. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Barbara Hershey. Jacqueline Bissett. Jacqueline hmm. Smith. Deidre Hall, Wendy, Deidre Hall. Wendy wow. Malik is over 60. I did not know that. She is 66. Wow. I'm impressed. Helen Mirren. I don't know who that is, really. <laughs> That's what I said that last time I mentioned her on the show. And you're like, <laughs> how could you not know who that is? She's like an award Oscar winning actress. I see her face and I still barely know who she is. Wow. Helena Von Drakakova. No idea who that is. No idea. Wow. She looks like she's freaking 45, though, and she says she's 68, but I've never, I don't know who she is. So, Priscilla Presley. Well, Ann Archer. Um, apparently, um, Albert Einstein. I'm just kidding. What? Goldie Hawn. Uh, no. Goldie Hawn does what? not look good at all. Oh, my God. No? No. Susan Lucci. She's 70. Susan she's Lucci is 70. Uh-huh. Lauren Hamilton. Oh, sorry, Lauren Hamilton. <laughs> Lauren Hutton, Sigourney Weaver, Mary Hart, Sophia Loren, Stevie Six. Just kidding, Stevie Nicks. And <laughs> I will one. disagree on Stevie Nicks. She does not look good anymore. Sorry, Jessica hmm. Lang. Not that I want to talk. Tina Turner. I was wondering what happened to her. I haven't seen her forever. Neither. Anne Margaret. Mary Lou Henner. <laughs> Meryl Streep, Cheryl Teagues, Dolly Parton, Sandra Peterson, Candace Bergen, and Catherine O'Hara. Boy, they could not pick a worse picture to say she's a top. <laughs> and there you go, sir. Well, that's interesting. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. That was okay, unexpected. So- go for it. Your turn. <laughs> All right. So I have... Um- <clears throat> Another 40 list. Um, this is from mentalfloss.com. And this is 40 words that are turning 40 in 2017. Oh, okay. So. 
is sup in there or <laughs> <laughs> bra? I don't I don't know this first one, but it's called Shapewear. Never heard of it. Must by be like 19- something they used back in the day to like make you look better. It says by 1977, girdles were on the way out, but we got shapewear to take their place. I don't know. Uh, nip and tuck. Nip and tuck. Okay, that's like um, a phrase for uh, plastic surgery, pretty much. Yeah, there was an older 19th century sense of nip and tuck that referred to a close neck and neck competition. But by 1977, the phrase was claimed for minor cosmetic surgery. Have you ever seen the show Nip Tuck? <clears throat> Years ago. God, I yeah. love that show. Yeah, I remember back in the day, you always talked about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, party Animal. <laughs> okay. The first citation for Party Animal. This is interesting. Do you know where that uh, phrase came from? Animal House? Close. No. Okay. I don't know that. But you're but you're on the right path, kind of. Saturday Night Live? <clears throat> Saturday Night Live, Bill Murray. Um, Brewski? <laughs> Brewski? <laughs> also. As, as in, like, for beer? Or for, like, a um, person? Um, I'll just read what it says. Brewski is another Saturday Night Live contribution, also from Bill Murray. This time complaining to the Coneheads that they put brewskis in the kids' trick-or-treat bags. So I guess it's referring to, like, beer. This one I don't know. It's called, it's Youper. <coughs> That's uh, somebody who lives in the upper part of Michigan. Uh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> upper Peninsula of Michigan. Holy shit. <laughs> you can't see these. You're no, cheating, you can't see you? this. Right? Yeah. You're not cheating, are you? No, I swear they're just coming to me. <laughs> Number six is uh, microwavable. <laughs> yeah, because of microwave. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Number seven is work life. Okay. Uh, Hashtag work life? No, it's kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Says work life balance became an ideal to shoot for in the 70s. And as a result, we got this adjective. And as a result, we got the millennials. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No name. Okay. Like the no name defense? There was a heyday 40 years ago for generics or non branded products at the supermarket. As Time pointed out, Time Magazine pointed out at the time, no-name groceries have become hot items. Okay. Uh, Nano computer. (laughs) Nano, nano. Uh, Murdochian. No clue. I'm sure it's based off somebody's last name. Yeah, we did see the word Murdochian as early as 1963, but then it referred to the philosophy of the writer Iris Murdoch. <clears throat> is the first applied to the uh, sensationalist tabloid style of that guy. I don't know. F- uh, phallocracy? No clue. French word, uh, f- uh, phallocrady? I don't know. For a male dominated society. Mm. So, makes sense. Moore's Law? I know Murphy's yeah. Law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um,. In 65, microchip manufacturer Gordon Earl Moore expressed the idea that the number of components that could fit on a chip would double every year. In 1977, the idea was called Moore's Law and eventually came to stand for the idea that computers will keep getting better and faster while they also get smaller. So He was been right about that. For sure. Uh, A-lister. Yeah, we know what that means. Yeah. yeah. At sign... Oh, the at sign, like the Twitter a with a circle, <laughs> a with a circle around yeah. it. The, a the at symbol itself has been around for hundreds of years, but we only have evidence for it being called the at sign since seventy seven. Before that, it was sometimes called the commercial at. Um, uh, what the hell is this? Bibimbap. <laughs> Bad, bad, bad. I have no clue. Bad, bad, bad. Board, board, board. Bibim, bibim. Bad, bad, bad. It's B I B I M B A P. Bibim, bibim, bad. Bibim, bad. What is it? In in Korean, this dish of mixed rice and vegetables is pronounced more like pibim, bad. 
But 40 years ago, when American culture started getting to know it, it came into English as bibimbap. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, round eye. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it up. What just happened? Oh, I pushed the button. Okay. Uh, Britpop. First citation of Britpop in a 77 issue of New Musical Express refers to a, a band you might not expect. At home, the Sex Pistols are public enemies. In Sweden, they're an important visiting Britpop group. I don't know. <clears throat> Post-punk. Are any chance this list from the UK? Uh, we accidentally do this a lot and we don't catch it till like towards the end. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't look like it, but I don't know. Post punk. <laughs> punk had barely gotten started in 77, but already was cited a mention of a post punk disco where a new wave bands played. Street cred or street credibility. Um, burb. Like the burbs? Yeah. Suburb, a very old word going into yeah, Middle Ages, suburbia, blah, blah. Cat fight. <laughs> Two females fighting. Yeah, it says cats have been fighting for a long time, but the verb to cat fight or fight in a vicious cat like manner by scratching, pulling hair, and biting dates to 1977. Cringeworthy. Yes. We still use that to this day. Do we? Yep. Uh, naked. <laughs> N e k k i d naked. naked. Yeah, the pronunciation naked had long been a regional variant of naked, <laughs> but forty years ago, it became its own word with a slightly different meaning. A purposely humorous, eyebrow wagging, sexually suggestive idea of nakedness. So it would be like naked. Uh, uh. Fast track, uh, froyo. Yes, fro that froyo is that old. I thought Froyo was either. like a newer thing. Okay. So did I. I never even heard Damn. that until like less than a year yeah, ago. Yeah, I think I heard Froyo like Froyo. probably four or five years ago I started hearing. All these Froyo <laughs> places started popping up. Yeah. Uh, guilt trip. Really? It's, yeah. it's so weird. I guess everything had to have a start. Yeah. Guilt trip yeah. feels like something that people could have been saying 300 years ago. Yeah. I concur. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, incentivization. Okay. To incentivize somebody? <laughs> Close. In the 1940s and 50s, people started taking, oh, sorry, talking about the concept of incentive pay or bonuses to encourage workers to be more productive. By 68, we had the verb incentivize, and 1977 brought us in incentivization. Word. Okay. Karaoke. Karaoke? Okay. Yep. Plus one. Who's your plus <laughs> nice one? one. <laughs> um, loose cannon. Okay. Uh, sh oh, shopaholic. It was written weird. I was like, shopaholic? <laughs> shopaholic. Okay. Upselling. Okay. Sicko. What are you, some kind of sicko? Uh, steady cam. Uh, step parenting. Okay. Strappy. <laughs> strappy. Okay. Referring to uh, strappy sandals oh. and strappy sundresses. Nice. <clears throat> Supersize. Like like McDonald's? Like to supersize the combo? Yeah, I don't see any like reference to <laughs> McDonald's here. <coughs> that kind of goes with the upselling. <laughs> supersize adjective goes back to 1876, but the verb to supersize something shows up in 77. It was popularized, oh, fast food sense. Yeah, fast after food. Nine, yeah, after 94, yeah. Like the upside text. from number one. This is interesting. Text message. Really? 40 this years ago? This phrase was introduced with the publication of standard for format of uh, ARPA network text messages from the Internet Engineering Task Force. I, I guess, you know, we think of text messages, obviously, with the phone, but a message yeah. sent in text is, in essence, a text yeah. message, I suppose. Well, teletypes I guess an stuff. email could really be a text <clears throat> message. Internet Engineering Task Force. That just sounds like <laughs> That's cool. this underground group of vigilantes. But there was no that, internet in the 70s. Well, the, the military was using it. 
Hmm. Interesting. Um, Finsulate. I don't know what that is. I don't know. This, um, this name for an insulting synthetic fabric has been with us for 40 years. Okay. Uh, transcriptionist. In the 70s, audio recording had become easy and portable enough to be relied upon in many fields. This created the requirement for a new type of job, transcribing from audio. The first citation from for transcriptionist is from a job ad for a medical transcriptionist. Okay. <clears throat> Number 40, the last one, is wedgie. <laughs> huh. I love a good so. wedgie. <laughs> what was that? Is that from something? Something uh, one of my customers said to me many years ago in the shoe store. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It was Tempest Shoe. Yeah, that's right. was a, I love a good a wedgie. a wedge, not a wedgie. I don't know. She said, <laughs> I, I love, love a good wedgie. That was just funny. So <laughs> I have, if you don't mind, quick, I'll go through quickly, some oh, urban right. dictionary words that change the world. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's see if you know what they mean. Acropella. No idea. It's singing badly while listening to the music. Uh, cr- like crap. Like the word crap is in there. Oh, it's probably gotcha. acrapella. Okay. Amaze gotcha. balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ann Curried being fired unexpectedly and or without cause. Is Ann Curry somebody? I don't know who that is. She was on Today Show forever. Asshole. <laughs> An individual <laughs> who asks ridiculous, before. obnoxious, or irrelevant questions. Um, awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Okay. <laughs> Baby bump. Yeah, we know that. Badassery. Yep. Pretty obvious. Mm-hmm. Baller. Shot caller. Baller. Shot caller. Beer me. <laughs> yeah. Belieber. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I was trying to... See, they, they curse... They, they cut out the ones that are like, I guess... Oh, bitch... Okay, bitch resting face. That's what it is. I had to read the... the oh. Yes. Resting bitch face. Rest, yeah, but it says bitch resting. It should be resting bitch mm-hmm. face, yeah. Bitcoin. <clears throat> gotcha. Um going through a little bootylicious. <laughs> Bromance. <laughs> Bropocalypse. <laughs> um by Felicia. C note. Uh, from a hundred dollar bill, yeah. Yeah, hundred hundred dollar bill, y'all. Cock block. <laughs> Cosby sweater. <laughs> I've never heard that one, but it's funny. A loud, obnoxious, cos- multicolored. He's wearing a Cosby sweater. A Cosby sweater. Spoken by Jack Black. A loud, obnoxious, multicolored sweater like those worn by Bill Cosby <laughs> on The Cosby Show. Yeah. A multicolored flannel boxer short shorts lint. Cougar. Hmm. Um, crunk. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> um, cyber slacking. Using one's employer's internet and email for personal activities. Nice. Dog, D A W G. Designated drunk. Oh, God. The individual who drinks all offers of free drinks sent to the designated driver. <laughs> <laughs> Driving the Bronco. It's a reference for OJ Simpson. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, duck face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, dude. Selfies. Yeah. As a, a, fa- a face made by pursuing or pursing, not pursuing, pursing yeah. and pouting one's lips in an attempt to make them appear fuller or to make the cheekbones appear more prominent. Yeah. It's like a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Dweet to tweet while drunk. I never heard that one. Yeah. Ear jacking. Eavesdropping on a conversation. <laughs> Earmuffs. An exclamation used to inform another they should cover their ears. Cover their ears, yeah. Earmuffs. Ego surfing. Using a search engine to look for references about yourself. Hmm. F-bomb. Fanboy, fangirl. Um, Fopology. Foodie, we know that. Frack. A fictional fictional swear popularized by... Oh, what the frack? Um... (laughs) Franken food, freak flag, friend zone. <laughs> Techno's all about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. Guess what's on here? Froyo. <laughs> <laughs> Gaydar. <laughs> Girl crush. Girl. Um, <laughs> hangry. He <laughs> said that to me recently. I had never heard it before. Um, hipster. Hot mess. 
Uh, jailbait. Like most of Tax Girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, karaoke filibuster. The act of preventing others from participating in karaoke by choosing an extraordinary long song. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, kicks. What are kicks? Shoes. Very good. Um, <laughs> Those are wedgies. Legend, wait for it, dairy. Yes. It just says legendary, but it says a state <laughs> of extreme awesomeness popularized by Neil Patrick Harris. Um, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> um, make it rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make it rain <laughs> in the script club. Man boobs, which I have. Man cave, which I do not. Um, <laughs> Man cave sounds like so like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, meat sweats. <laughs> To begin to perspire as the result of consuming large quantities of meat. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's from uh, Friends. Joey says, like, oh, here come the meat sweats. Because yeah. he was eating too much turkey. MILF. But they don't say no. where MILF is from. I, wasn't MILF originally from um, American, American Pie? Pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should have given it its credit. It actually was from the guy that actually said the line. Like, he uh, he actually, like, said it somewhere. And they're like, holy shit, that's funny. Like, is, Say that, <laughs> like that's gonna isn't be. Isn't it um, the uh, Sulu, the new Sulu, right? What's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget his name. It's Harold from Harold and yeah, Kumar. Yeah, Harold and Kumar. <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> Code for having sex with Netflix on in the background. I thought Netflix and chill actually meant Netflix and chill. Did I totally misinterpret it? Uh, that's the forty-year-old in that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, Netflix and chill means put on Netflix and pass out 30 minutes into the movie. <laughs> Ninja sex. Silent sexual intercourse in order to avoid awakening a sleeping roommate. <laughs> nice. Shouldn't that be mime sex? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nom. Eating. <laughs> so when I think yeah. nom, I think nam. Um, <laughs> NSFW. Not safe for work. Oh, yeah. OMFG. <laughs> Um, one upper, an individual who responds to hearing someone else's story by telling a similar story that's more fantastic. Nice. <laughs> Party foul, fat, P H A T, pretty hot and tempting. Oh my God. Um, pre, pre, looks like pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Knowing you shouldn't do something or you'll regret it. Oh, pregret. Oh. Okay, got it. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Selfie, sexed, side boob, noise. <laughs> um, snail mail, sniff test, swag, sweet, sweet. That's what she said. Hmm. Tr- that's what she said is actually on the list, by the way. <laughs> no, <I> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trout, a man who likes to date younger women. <laughs> Trout? Why? Oh, he swims. He swims downstream. That's why. Is what it says. <laughs> uh, twerk. So the other one would be like a salmon. Then I guess if it's uh, somebody who likes to date, or the chick, I guess would be considered a salmon. Yeah, they I, swim upstream. If you date older, I guess you're a salmon. Salmon. <laughs> and I already passed the S's, so I guess that wasn't in here. Yeah. Um, twerk. A rhythmic dance featuring the gyration of the hips, often creating a rippling effect in the buttocks. With the intent of eliciting sexual arousal or amusement from the audience. For examples, please search Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Type or active, someone who is overly talkative in emails or text. <laughs> Upskirt. Virgin ears. Woot. Woke. Being aware. Word hmm. out. Um, WTF. YOLO. Zombie ad. A political advertisement that continues to appear after the election is over. Nice zombie ad. <laughs> All right, sir. I thought that was a fun. That was some fun stuff right there. Fun stuff we, right there. We told we stole our whole show from the internet this time. <laughs> <Like> the entire <laughs> show was from the internet. <laughs> well, not our story in the beginning. Yeah, we had it? like a whole like a mystery science theater three thousand kind of episode today. We just <laughs> yoke shit. I love know, that show. And, uh, and then just comment on everything. Hell yeah. Have you watched the new Mystery Science Theaters? I didn't even know it was a thing until I heard you guys talking about it on uh, Living Podcariously a few weeks oh. ago. So I haven't gotten a chance to check it out. But I didn't really watch it that much when I was young. I watched it some, but I didn't watch it like a ton. 
I did. That was something that me and my mom and my sister used to always watch all the time. Yeah, I think I actually, I think I watched it with you more than I ever watched it with anybody. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, um, wait. Question: Are they doing like are they are they doing like newer movies, like movies I would have seen now, or no? Same type of old movies. See that? It's still not. I mean, is it movies you've ever heard of or seen? Is that the thing? No. See, no. I don't get that. See, I'd rather it be with movies I've heard of or seen, like current movies <laughs> they can make fun of or something. That'd be awesome. Make fun of like Twilight. I actually like Twilight, but I I can still see them making fun of it. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, well that uh, takes us. It to must the have end been real episode. No. You were like, hmm, that's interesting. All right. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really well, piqued it your interest there, didn't it? <laughs> it, it is interesting. Like, you see him doing like, like some eighties movie. No, no, don't try like and that. save it now. You didn't give a shit. Just get on with the outro and let's be out of this. So, if you want to get a hold of us, you can hold us at your forty now at gmail dot com, um, and follow us on Twitter at uh, your forty now what. And of course, all the forties are the number forty. Why are you looking at me? This is the part. Are where you, you not go, entertained? That's right, Tack. Are you and not then you entertained? And continue with with our like uh, yeah. social media. That's right, stuff. Tack. Oh, that's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> what movie is that from? I don't know. The mask. Very oh. good. I guess that I gave my... it away in the line there, didn't I? <laughs> it was. It's my least favorite Jim Carrey nah, movie. Whatever it is. <laughs> it's because you don't know real comedy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> I'm just being a douche. It's all good. I'd be a douche. We should do that one on uh, the new version of uh, Mystery Science Theater. We'll go ahead and we should do that movie. What movie? The Mask? The Mask, yeah. So, didn't it have Cher in it? <laughs> no, that That's was just Mask. mask. <laughs> yeah. That was that a was good movie, movie, man. Yeah, I like that. It was sad. It was very sad. What's that? It's not the best share movie ever, though. What is the best share movie? <sighs> Probably Moonstruck, I guess. Nick Cage. Snap out of it. And um, then there was a really good one with Dennis Quaid uh, called Suspect. Very good movie. Hmm. She plays a lawyer. N- Liam Neeson, an unknown Liam Neeson, plays uh, a bum who's deaf and dumb. Huh. And... Uh, or yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he can't speak, can't hear. That, that's what they call deaf and dumb. That, that probably was an insensitive reference. That was an aged reference there. So <laughs> he plays a homeless person who cannot speak nor hear. Wait a second, are we getting to that age now where we say racist shit and not realize? Yeah, it? I think I just did that. It wasn't racist, but it was insensitive. I don't think being <laughs> I, I don't think being deaf and not being able to speak is a race. <laughs> I don't think there's a race like, of people. I think it's you know people who are handicapped. Like, uh, you know, so I used to work. Used to work in retail, and then uh, my my uh, manager was a black guy, and this old woman came in. She was like, um, "Is the color gentleman here?" Was <laughs> she was like, trying so hard not to be racist all the t- all the while being know. as racist as could be. I was like, "I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Is the color gentleman?" He's like, you're talking about Derek, like the black, the the Blake guy. And I was just like, oh my god! So I walked into the office. I was like, she's asking for the color gentleman. (laughs) And he's like, oh, all right. (laughs) He gets up and comes up. See, we didn't even grow up in a time where that phrase was used. No. Um, (laughs) Yeah. So to me, that just sounds weird. Colored. I know. That's we're all colored some way. I concur. We all have pigment. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But anyway, I was, uh, to finish what I was talking about. Yeah, So sorry. Liam Neeson, he plays um, a guy who can't speak and can't hear. He's accused of murdering somebody, like a judge or something, um, mm-hmm. in a car lot, like a car lot where you go park, you know, parking garage kind of thing. And um, Cher is his uh, public defender. And... Um, Dennis Quaid is uh, on the jury, and somehow Quaid—I don't know how—Quaid, <laughs> Quaid. Oh, sorry, I just went on to a little uh, <laughs> total recall there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so somehow Quaid is like giving her information. Is he? He's starting to figure out and find all this stuff about this case. I don't even remember how. It's been so many years since I saw it. So. It's uh, which is you know obviously highly illegal. Sounds like the the judge in it, and I don't remember his name, but the judge in it is the the guy who played the father in the show Frasier. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's good. He's the judge in it. Um, it's small cast. It's pretty much those four. Yeah. So it's really four good actors, a movie you never heard of, awesome, awesome, awesome movie. Sounds like uh, Primal Fear. It's a, that's a lot different than Primal Fear. Yeah? Yeah. Primal Fear was a great movie. That's too. the Richard Gere, um, Edward Norton Edward Jr. Norton. movie, right? Yeah, that's yeah. That's a really good movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yo. All right, so... Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, we can also uh, find us on uh, Facebook as well. And uh, also check us out on the YouTube channel of Dichotomy Media Podcasts. Um, and also check out Get Out Penny cartoons as well on there. Yeah, Penny. Do it. <laughs> yeah, Penny. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I do one of the voices. Yeah. Hey, I wrote an episode. Yes, and so the latest episode is written by yours truly, Ryan Cannon. Yeah, yeah. So You're, it's your best one by far. I'm just kidding. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> just because I, I got another one about to be released this week. So just so to clarify, episode four was written by Ron. Yeah, episode five is written by Jimmy Klein. Jimmy Klein. So it's not out yet, but it will be very soon this week. Um, and that's it. What are we forgetting? That's it. I think we said it all. All right, well, uh, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review, and do reviews, and that helps us out a lot. Um, I, don't know, I feel like I'm forgetting something, like, major. I think you, you said it all, buddy. Okay. All right. All right, all right. All right, well, uh, I guess we will see you next week, yeah? Yep. They will see, they'll see us next week. See us yeah. next week, or hear us. <laughs> They're so lucky they get to hear us next week. Yeah. I'm jealous. All right. Sorry, I'm just laugh, laughing at my own stupid joke. All right. Well, for uh, your 40 now, what? I'm Tag. I'm wrong. And uh, talk to you next week. Bye. Later.